Hello and welcome to Play It Forward, a digital concert featuring Pittsburgh Youth Symphony Orchestra. My name is Earl Lee and I'm the music director of this group of incredibly talented young musicians. Music is food for our soul and it held us together during this difficult time. The piece that you've just heard was March from Love for Three Oranges by Prokofiev. And I certainly hope that music will continue to carry our spirits high towards the light at the end of the tunnel. We hold concerto competitions every year and it is open to all members of the Pittsburgh Youth Symphony Orchestra. Last season, we were able to choose not just one but two winners, Amanda Kengor on harp and Katie Lou on piano. However, with the difficult situations that we have, they did not get to receive the thunderous applause that they deserve. This is a great opportunity for us to share their talents with you on screen. Amanda is going to perform parts of Glier's Harp Concerto, and Katie will be performing parts of Chopin's Piano Concerto No. 1. Please enjoy.
Hi, my name is Riley Fichtenmeyer and I'm the second year violinist in the Pittsburgh Youth Symphony Orchestra. Up next, we are going to perform Hoedown by Aaron Copeland. Many of you already probably know this piece because it is one of Aaron Copeland's most famous works. It is featured in the ballet Rodeo and seen in many TV commercials and films. As a violinist, I love performing this piece because we get to play the fiddle part, which is seen in many real live rodeos. I hope you like listening to this piece as much as I like performing it. Thanks for being here. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the piece that we're going to hear next called Unsynced? This next piece is Unsynced by me. That, that was con composed during you know, COVID lockdown. Uh, the idea was, you know, since we miss playing with each other, you know, a lot of musicians can't play live together or just can't play together. How do we do that during COVID lockdown on Zoom and or on remote settings? And I decided to write a piece that Literally, it's unsynced, so you can play together, but it sounds better when it's not together. At the recording, we did three takes. The first take was literally, of course, you conducting uh, just for the full four bars, you know, note for note, straight through. The second one was, I think, you, you cued a couple spots. 
And then the third take was everyone unmuted and then we just played. You started the piece and they just the students just played by them on their own. And I think the recording is the result of the, the, that day's session during, uh, it was live during the rehearsal session as well. Yeah, it was a really fun session and, and making music over the Zoom, something that we never thought would be possible, but it was thanks to you. And so it was the third take particularly was really interesting because there was nobody keeping track and it was basically almost like chance music, right? Because it had like a, a framework and uh, we didn't know when it was going to end. And it actually ended really beautifully. Yeah. Um, people can look forward to that, um, uh, the recording that you're about to hear. And this was a big part of our vision. Um, I think it's important that everyone learns how to write music. And I think there's a, a bit of a misunderstanding that it is daunting and, and scary to, to compose because people would think that we need to know music theory and counterpoint and all these tools to be able to write music, but that's not true. Um, when kids are young, they learn how to paint at a very early age. And I think music should be also a part of that expression. Yeah, I think we so. should be able to write music freely. So yeah, I mean, we also did a, a Paiso composition lab where Pius led two classes and got all our young musicians started on writing music. And we had some volunteers who submitted their one minute pieces. And what you are also about to hear after the performance of Unsync are three wonderful pieces by talented Paiso musicians. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
Hello, my name is Connor Remington, and I've had the distinct honor of being Paiso's tuba player for about the last two and a half years. I'm so glad that you all have decided to tune in this evening, and I hope you all are enjoying the debut of Paiso's Play It Forward virtual concert. I hope you don't mind, but we're going to take a slight detour from tonight's program. For those of you that do not know, Paiso's current executive director, Craig Johnson, announced that he would be going into early retirement at the end of December 2020 after 20 years with the orchestra. What a tenure. <laughs> after seeing this news, a lot of us in the brass section of the orchestra were wishing there was something we could do as one final hoorah to pay tribute to Craig, and then it hit me. We pay homage by playing homage. <laughs> I figured what doesn't sound as triumphant and full of honor as Elgar's pomp and circumstance march. After speaking with Eve, Bridget, and Maestro Lee, a click track was eventually made and the orchestra recorded their parts of a short excerpt from this piece. Now, I've been talking for a little bit, so I'll hush up. Craig, I feel as though I speak on behalf of the musicians and staff of the orchestra, both past and present, when I say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything you've done. This one's for you, my friend. Now please, sit back, relax, and enjoy Paiso's virtual rendition of Elgar's Pomp and Circumstance in honor of Craig Johnson. Thank you. Hi Craig, I would like to congratulate you for such legacy that you're leaving behind and thank you for being so caring, loving and most importantly being so patient with me. You'll be greatly missed. A new chapter for you and I'm confident that this is just the beginning part of our long friendship. See you when I get back. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, my name is Matthew Rogelski. This is my third year playing clarinet with the Pittsburgh Youth Symphony Orchestra. Today, we finished with the finale from Stravinsky's Firebird Suite, originally written for a ballet of the same name that premiered at the Opera de Paris in 1910. This piece was Stravinsky's professional breakthrough. Up until that point, Stravinsky was a relatively unknown composer. But the success of the ballet and his music catapulted him to international fame. To this day, Igor Stravinsky is considered one of the most influential composers of the 20th century. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this performance by the musicians of the Pittsburgh Youth Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> 